in for peels. For big peels, if you will. And Kid, of course, rocking the can. So I was expecting a lot of, like, Zeus and Samus to kind of use her spacing tools against Ken. Don't let him get in. Because once he gets in, those big combos are going to make a ton of damage on Zeus and Zeus and Samus is not a very heavy character. However, it does have really good escape options. So we saw it right there with the flip jump out of um, the combo. So going to be expecting a lot of that from Peels going forward. And yeah, we just see, like, Peels very content to just run away, space out. Throw out a lot of these Zairs, throw out a lot of these side Bs. Try and get Kit to jump in, because that's when Zero Samus loves, is when you jump in, she can get these grabs, she can get those paralyzers, she can get anything she wants, really. Tries to maybe set up a Nair flip to jump there, does uh, appeals, but not quite gonna find it. As I'm joined on the mic by Mr. Vencho himself, how is it going, my friend? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Hello, everyone. So, we got Kit and Peels right here, uh, in this first set of the day. Um, I was saying that I think it's gonna be a lot of peels trying to just jump around uh, Kit's space and not let him get in and get those big combos going. Yeah, I expect a lot of Zeris from peels, a lot of neutral air on shield, just like tr yeah, trying to not have that happen. Not have that happen at all. And gets the up tilt, sure you does Kit. Kind of a little risky, that could be SDI'd. I was thinking maybe F smash, but. Isn't there a version of Shoryu that can't be SDI'd? Um, there is a combo that ends in a Shoryu that can't be SDI'd, but the flame Shoryu can always be SDI'd. Which, how do you know it's the flame one? Um, th that's a strong Shoryu. Medium Shoryu can't be SDI. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And there's an animation difference? Yeah, he doesn't, the flames don't come out, it just kind of, it looks like Ryu Shoryu. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, regardless, Peels even it up quite quickly with that back air there, and, uh, yeah. We're going right back to what we've been seeing so far with Peels very content to run away and just kind of space out with these airs, with these nares. Anything that will keep Kit at oh. bay. See that, all right, it's there. The kid just like finding these openings so quickly. Yeah, once he finds it, it he can get in and get a ton of damage off really quickly. Um, that's kind of like Ken's MO. He's, he wants to get in one time. Yeah. Zero Samus wants to keep you out all of the time, and Ken wants to get in once. <laughs> okay, I'm going to forward air. Gonna put him off stage. Ledge trap time. Doesn't go for like a down smash. I guess he was waiting for a jump. Yeah, I'm not sure about Peels just kind of jumping there. Um, you would think that Zero Samus, like, as such a good ledge dropper, would be content with just kind of standing still and waiting for Kit to pick an option, but. Yeah. Ooh, gets the good read on there on the roll, and that's gonna be stock number two going straight to Peels. Do not roll in for CSS. No. You will die. <laughs> Oh, that could be it right there. Gets the up tilt into the shore. You no so SDI. What was, so what was the SDI that would have saved him there? Uh, you want to go up and in on Ken Shore. You okay? Up and in will save you more often than not. I'm not sure about ZSS. You know she has a big body. What so. if they angle it up? Because they can angle the shore. You right? I believe so. I think they can switch. Like, like they, they there is a DI mix up to it, but more often than not, you want to go up and in. Okay. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're going to die anyway, and if they mix up your DI, you just, you're dead regardless. Ooh, get that big combo going. Can't end it with the medium Shoryu, though, this kit. He was looking for that up air, up air, medium Shoryu. Couldn't find it, though. However, Peel's at 98%. He's got to be very careful. A lot of Ken's moves are going to be killing right here, and a lot of things are going to start linking into that Shoryu Ken. Yeah, Ken is winning here, make no mistake. Ken just needs one one hit. I mean, He's, so does Zero Suit, though, especially at ledge here. It's very scary I mean, with those Paralyzers coming out. It would have to be a, a very good hit to combo into a kill like that. Oh, oh can't yeah. find the kill, though. Got a little antsy there to Peels. He missed his dash forward, I guess. Yeah. Maybe he didn't even think he needed a dash forward. Yeah, not quite sure what happened there, but Kit staved <laughs> off that. Yeah, and just back here going to be... Taking game number one for Kit. He definitely watched the Invitational. Ashino <laughs> throwing out those back airs. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's like, wait, I can do that too. <laughs> it's just a strong. But yeah, if you're Peels, you gotta just like, have a short term memory right there. You know you missed that down smash into a B that probably would have taken that game for you. Yeah. But it's like, okay, I can take a game as long as my execution is on point. So let's just calm down, get that execution on point, and not have that happen again, and we can 
work through it in this game number two. I noticed like Kit is getting a lot of like up close and personal, and I feel like Peels can be recognizing that and going for a lot more neutral airs on shields. Because like that's basically how you win neutral as the SS. Is you land a neutral air on shield. And you can go for jabs and you have other mix ups, and I haven't seen Peels do much of that. There's the Nair. Yeah, I'm thinking it's that, and I'm thinking it's catching Kit jumping in. Because yeah. a lot of the time Ken's gonna be approaching jumping in because he wants to get those Nairs, those fairs, that combo into huge damage right there. 53 off of one of those. I and feel like there, right there is what I want. Yeah. I want him to grab those. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be not yeah. a shield break. Not quite. I don't think he got a, he would have gotten the full thing if so. Maybe we'll just done a ton of damage, but. Not gonna find it. Hello, Sam. How are you doing today? We are at West Town Brawl number whatever this is, and it's Kit and Peels here in game number two. We get another down tilt to shore you, and that's Kit going to be getting first blood in game number two, just like he did in game number one. Yeah, I mean, the, the moral of the story here is just Kit is killing earlier. Like, everything always seems even, but then Kit is always getting the earlier kill. Yeah, and when you're zero, uh, when you're Ken, rather, uh, and you can. Like, just get in and get a ton of damage off of one interaction, especially on a character like Zerosu, who can't really do that, then, you know, it's going to be a good time for you. However, back here, going to be uh, sealing up, or rather, evening up this game number two. Kit is a UW Madison player. Uh, I believe, like, at least top three on their PR. Um, yeah. And, you know, he's been going to a lot of Madison things lately. Uh, and, you know, Dick Squad member as well, so I always gotta cheer for my boy as he seals up that game, or that stock number two, looking to close out game number two here pretty soon. Yeah, Kit finding these rollaways on the tech chases, I'm waiting for Peels to start adapting that. Yeah, we saw him rolling in a couple times, and a couple times when he rolled in, he got paralyzed either by down smash or by neutral B, so, uh, switching it up now, going to the roll away. Down throw into whatever that was, was that like forward tilt? I don't even yeah. know. Ken's moves are so weird. Down throw into damage. Peel's gotta make something happen here. Yeah, gotta find something big and something quick. You know, we gotta re-grab here, but no, not gonna find it. Yeah, I was wondering when those Tomahawk side bees were gonna start coming out. Kit's dropping shield pretty preemptively. Ooh. So there's the medium shoryu that I was talking about where it doesn't have the fire on it. And oh, gotcha. Yeah. But uh, Kit using it to recover that time, rather. Yeah, that's quite. All right, as my co-commentator goes off to play his game, Peels takes a second stock here from Kit, and, you know, same situation we were looking at in game number one, where both characters, low percents, last stock. Can Kit find that one opening to get a big combo going? There's a start, and Peels with a great air dodge away to not die there. Does put himself in an unfavorable position, but not going to be uh, spelling the end, spelling his demise quite yet. Kit, though, just one interaction away, one up tilt, one down tilt, maybe even a jab away from taking game number two and the set. However, Peel's looking to make sure that doesn't happen. Maybe looking for a nair into a flip kick here. Paralyzer, anything would do it there. That was scary. I gets the nair, and now I think we're looking at nair flip kick being not an option anymore. Doesn't matter, though, as he gets the up tilt Shoryu and Kit taking it game number two. Kit with a 2-0 over Peels and a fantastic set.